Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and I welcome you here to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new to my channel, thank you and I hope you choose to stick around by becoming a subscriber by the end of this video. Also, if you are returning, thank you again for your continued YouTube support. Well guys, I am here today to share a Hobby Lobby haul with you all today. And I found some more clearance items as well as some things I went in there to get because I knew they was on sale this week. And I have some upcoming projects that I'm going to be showcasing here on my channel. And I want to share with you what items I found. Now everything I got in this haul was on sale. And then also there are some things I want to share with you. So while I was in Hobby Lobby, the lady had just started marking down the Swarovski crystals. Now every Hobby Lobby is different, so they may mark them down at different times, but feel free to call your local store in your area to find out if they have started marking those down. I also noticed that some of the clay and polymer items were on sale, like the molds. And so I did have a chance to pick up some items from that section as well. There still may be some of those items left in your location. So if those are things that you are interested in, feel free to definitely check out your local Hobby Lobby. You should get them while they are on clearance. A lot of times when they clearance out something, means that they will not be getting it back in their store or it may come back in a different packaging from a different company. Um, so they are clearancing it out. So if you really have some items that you had on your crafty list, this would be the time to go. So I'm going to now show with, um, share with you what I purchased while I was in the store. So I did happen to find this die set here. And this is another one I passed on the first time. And I decided to get it because I do not have a lot of rainbows and a lot of suns in my um, die collection. So this would be great since I make a lot of kid birthday cards and different things of that nature. Um, I love to have a little whimsicle in my collection as far as making different items for kids and different things. Um, in addition to that, this particular die comes with eight dies. It was originally $12.99. I got it for $3.24. So this was the only die that I picked up. And this one is called Rainbow Magic. So I was surprised that this one was still there. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And the Clay Owl, as mentioned, these are some of the molds that they had. Um, this particular one right here was originally priced at $4.99 and I got it for $1.24. And this is um, it's called Texture Sheets. So I thought this would be great because I still play with my clay quite a bit. And I want to open this up and see how many molds you actually get so that way you'll know if you are looking for this. So let me grab a white sheet here so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so it looks like there are four molds in here, and that's not bad. So you have, it's probably going to be hard to see, but this is a honeycomb shape here. Yep, it says it at the top, and it's clear, guys, so it's going to be hard to see. But this is a honeycomb one here, so you get that one in this pack. You will also get this one right here which is called what's the name of this one this one is called weave this is a weave one here the next one that you will get in this pack this one here is called eyelet it's like a little flower print there And this one here, it's called Lace. So those are all the ones you will receive inside of this pack here. And I got all four of these for $1.24, which is really phenomenal. So that's what's in that first pack right there. And they are texture sheets. And these can be used for a lot of, clay is so much fun to play with. And they can be used for a lot of different things that you want to create. They have so much more that they share with you of what they offer. 
um, but these were the only four that was included, which I thought was great because I actually, I actually thought it might have been two in there. So having four, that's not a bad deal for a dollar twenty-four. Then we have this one right here that is called Push Moles. Um, this was also a dollar twenty-four, and these are the leaves, and I believe it's just that one in there. But they show several other um, variations of different moles that they do carry and have. Those were not at the store. They might have already been sold out because I did see a lot of empty slots on the shelf. Open this one up so we can get a closer look here. This one here, okay, it's just one in this one. This one here is just the leaves. So you can see that there. But it's still really, really nice. So if you're into mixed media or you love to make jewelry, or however and whatever ideas you may have in store um, to create with these molds, you can definitely do that. So that's a great deal. Okay, so now in addition um, with those molds, I did go in there to pick up some wire. I did already have 20 gauge, but I plan on um, playing with some wire. Now wire has never really been my forte, only because wire can be a little difficult. But I want to challenge myself to try something new and something different. And I'm really excited to bring my project to you guys um, at a later date to share with you what I create using the wire. This one here is a 20 gauge. Now this wire is retail for $3.99 and I did get it for half off this particular week. This is the silver one. You get 10 yards in this pack here. I wanted the same brand, which I did get the same brand, but I wanted the same little package, but they were out of it. So I had to go with this little tube or this little, um, I don't know what you would call it. Um, but anyway, I had to go with this little package in here and this is 24 gauge and this is also silver colored. So I went with this one. This one was priced at $4.99, so it was a little bit more, but I got this one for $2.49. And so um, this one has 24 yards on it though. So you can see the difference in that. So this is going to be awesome. While I was in there, I went ahead and picked up some beads. I wanted some fuchsia beads and I never um, don't ever have a lot of these. So I went ahead and picked these up. Unfortunately, they did not come in the big tube like the other ones I found. This was retail for $2.99 and the beads were half off. But this little tube was killing me. I was like, I need a bigger one. And this is the size that I got. And these right here will retail for $3.99 and I got it for $1.99. So you see the size comparison. You understand why I said that because that's ridiculous. I have this amount that probably comes to about here. And we have this big, huge tube. And I paid $1.49 for this when this was $1.99. But still, they didn't have this color here and it didn't come in this um, tube size. So you can see how frustrating that is. I need them to get more colors. So Hobby Lobby, I need y'all to pick it up and get some more colors in these big um, bead treasure, you know, tubes here. So I did pick this one up here and this one is called Crystal Luster. It's the glass bugle bead. So I wanted some of these and they are clear as you can see. Really, really pretty. And then I also picked up this one here, which is the black opaque. And I got those of bugle beads there. And I picked some up in this gold color, which is really, really pretty. And all these were on sale for $1.99, the best time to buy them. And then I got some of the black rainbow. Really, really, really pretty. Look how gorgeous those are. Love that. And last but not least, I picked up these bead treasures, which is called Pink Night Coated. And these are sea beads, glass sea beads at that. And I absolutely love those colors because those are the colors that's in my craft space. Really, really pretty. So I had to have those. And then I also been eyeing these for quite some time. And I do have some bubblegum beads in my stash because I have shared that here on my channel and how I store them. So if you'd like to see that video, definitely look through. I have created a playlist for all of my hauls. So if you want to see Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, Joann's, any of those places or you know that I have shopped at, you will see that I have created a playlist so you can go back and find the videos that I'm talking about. But I have shared where I store, how I store my um, bubblegum bees and what my bubblegum bees look like. But these I never had. I missed them when they had the sale in this particular color. And I said I wasn't going to miss them again in case they ever do go on sale. So they did go on sale this particular week because the bees were on sale. So I did get them for half off. So instead of paying um, the regular price, which is $10.99 for one box, I got both boxes for that price, which is still a little up there. 
but you know with with this all said i'm really happy with this purchase because i really wanted these beads and so this one here because it has a lot of my favorite colors in it and so i'm really happy with both of these um packages here um so that pretty much is the beads that i picked up and then i also got some paint for some upcoming projects um I have picked up a lot of these colors because of some things that I want to do. I don't want to say now. I just kind of want to surprise you guys with what I create. But I picked up this acrylic paint. And this is a caramel color. Really, really pretty. In addition to that, I also picked up this paint here, which is called Latte. And I picked this one up right here, which is called Milk Chocolate. I got this one here, which is called Coffee Latte. And I also picked this one up, which is called Espresso. So those are all the paint colors I picked up. And I'll be coming back to definitely share what I'm going to do with this paint as well as a lot of the other goodies that I have been sharing here on my channel. And I want to thank you guys so much for your continued YouTube support. It means a lot to me when I get comments and you guys watch my videos. Thank you again. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave those or you can email me. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, like this video by giving it a thumbs up and checking out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Continue to be blessed as always and have a fabulous day. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.